Uh, I've always felt like if you roll up your sleeves and you go to work day to day and try to get a little bit better every day, then good things happen. And so far, that's what's happened to me. Dooley's work ethic and philosophy have landed him one of the premier jobs in the country. Despite a 17 and 20 overall record at Louisiana Tech, Dooley's overall body of work won over Tennessee. His biggest coaching achievement came in 2008 as he led the Bulldogs to an 8-5 record and their first bowl victory in more than 30 years. It's a very emotional thing to do to leave a place to me because when you put your heart in something, it, it's a difficult thing to leave. And I wanted to stay through that thing because we laid so many seeds of success and it's going to come for that program. I know it will. And I hate that I'm leaving them at this time, uh, but I know that they're going to have some great years ahead. And I'll always have a soft spot uh, in my heart for Louisiana Tech and for the Ruston community. Dooley was certainly not the Volunteers' first choice. Texas defensive coordinator Will Muschamp, Utah's Kyle Whittingham, and Duke's David Cutcliffe reportedly turned down the job. In the coaching circles, Dooley's name carries plenty of weight. Derek is the son of legendary Georgia coach Vince Dooley. When you grow up, uh, it was just kind of a part of your family, and uh, you don't really know any differently. Uh, you read about your dad on the newspaper, you hear about him on the radio, and it's just kind of a part of your life. Dooley's style is also heavily influenced by another national champion. For seven seasons, Dooley served as an assistant under Nick Saban at LSU and then with the Miami Dolphins. I was uh, with Coach Saban uh, five years at LSU, two years at the Dolphins, uh, and really thrived uh, in his way of doing things, and I'm very grateful uh, for the opportunity that he gave me in wearing so many hats with him, uh, coaching different positions, coordinating recruiting, coordinating special teams, assistant head coach. Uh, he really allowed me to blossom as a young coach, and I was starving for it. Louisiana Tech not only loses its head coach, but also its athletic director. And Dooley's accomplishments off the field may be more impressive. As Tech's AD, he raised more than a half a million dollars to renovate Bulldog dressing rooms, increased corporate sponsorship by 123%, and made several improvements to the stadium by adding a scoreboard and field turf. With National Signing Day quickly approaching, Louisiana Tech officials are under a major deadline to find Dooley's replacement. Names being mentioned are Bulldogs defensive coordinator Tommy Spangler, North Alabama's Terry Bowden, and Texas assistant coach Major Applewhite. As for Dooley, the former lawyer will now try to win over a disgruntled Tennessee jury. And I think it's a great lesson in life that what happened. Uh, was it an unfortunate situation for them? Of course it is. They've gone through two tough years, and I sympathize for them. But if you think this is as hard as it gets in life, look out. Because life is tough, you're going to get knocked down a bunch, and the quicker you learn to deal with how you react to it and dust your britches off and move forward, then the quicker you're going to lead to happiness. And I have a lot of confidence that the team uh, is going to move forward because we're going to move forward and not dwell on what happened. Aaron Dietrich for CSC Tonight.